Uh, Neil here. I have one of the um, bearings. This is from an Anycubic uh, kit that I received recently. Now the problem that I've experienced with these uh, bearings, they're, they're inexpensive, uh, um, is that some of them, I'd say maybe one out of two or three, uh, exhibit a stick-slip phenomena that uh, can actually be measured fairly easily. Uh, this bearing has been cleaned, lubricated, run back and forth hundreds of times by hand so I've really tried to break it in. Sometimes breaking in does help but uh, in this particular one uh, I have a force gauge here you can see the uh, numbers on it it reads out in grams force uh, uh, the units are 25, 50, 75 and so on of grams and so if I use it to push down you notice that for some bit of the travel um, it moves okay and then you reach certain points where the force jumps up um, like it did just there and I'll move down a little bit further and I don't know if you can see the needle but it's um, approaching let me uh, reset the um, the zero on this thing so you can see what the uh, maximum values are um, again at the top I just hit about 50 or uh, give or take grams force reaches a point. Now here uh, if I move slowly I don't know if you can see but the uh, the force involved it's pushed well past 125 grams uh, before it unsticks and begins to move again and that uh, that's basically what the problem has been with these things. They're so inconsistent throughout their range of motion uh, that certainly I would not call them a quality bearing by any stretch and that that amount of um, additional force absolutely shows up in the print quality that you get um, and it creates problems you know it, we're talking about a moving system driven by a motor and uh, you want the uh, the friction to be somewhat uh, consistent from moment to moment um, and it just isn't. Uh, it sticks, it's slot, you know, and, and the problem is that, you know, you think, okay, well, the thing is moving. Uh, they, they do, in fact, move fairly smoothly when you move them quickly. But it's the slow motion. It's when, I guess it's the balls, the recirculating balls, that just kind of get hung up somewhere in their travel and then uh, eventually break free and move uh, move around again so this is one this is a what I would call a failed or a poor quality bearing that I would not choose to put into a 3d printer